We've heard a lot lately about social distancing. It's a pretty vague term, but it's an important step in fighting the spread of the coronavirus. And it starts with one simple rule. Just try to keep some distance between you and other people. Specifically, about six feet of space. Health officials say that's how far coronavirus can travel through droplets from coughs and sneezes that generally spread the virus. And that's why events from NBA games to concerts and conferences have all been canceled. This is social distancing, and it's increasingly becoming a core part of policies to contain the virus, as governments actually take the step of banning large gatherings of people. Certain events in King, Snohomish, and Pierce County with more than 250 people are prohibited by order of the governor. Overall, there are a lot of broad definitions out there for social distancing. Just don't ask the Centers for Disease Control. And it turns out there's a lot of scientific evidence out there that shows just how effective social distancing can be in stopping the spread of a virus. So it gives you some time to prepare. It gives you some time to develop a vaccine. That's Professor Gerardo Chow. He led a research team that studied how Mexico handled an outbreak of the H1N1 flu back in 2009 when the federal government there acted quickly to order a mandatory nationwide closing of schools for 18 days, a move that research found likely saved thousands of lives. Mexican authorities are stepping up measures to identify and isolate people infected. And the government um, uh, mandated the closure of all the um, movie theaters, restaurants, as well as large uh, public gatherings. And I think that gave time to the public health authorities to prepare and react to what was happening in the, in the country. So I think in the context of you know, uh, COVID-19, uh, whatever we can do to delay these waves of infection is, is worth doing uh, because you know, in, a, in, a, in a year, hopefully we will have a vaccine and we will be able to vaccinate those that are at highest risk of developing severe disease and, and dying from the virus.